often people believe that graphene is expensive, difficult to make. This was the case maybe five years ago, but it's not the case anymore. And by now, the issues of mass production, either in terms of kilograms or tons, or in terms of centimeter square, meter square, hundreds of meters square, are by and large sold. We are Graphene Tech and we are Graphene Mass Producers. What we have here is a master batch that is also industrialized. We can provide to the polymers with an improvement in mechanical properties, thermal dissipation, and also we can provide to the polymers with electrical conductivity. Our uh, purpose here is really to produce graphene in enough volume, enough quantities, that it can be used in the industry. We work on graphene oxide and CBD materials, graphene films, totally different. And in both, we have been investing in order to make this a reality. We're working on the upscale and mass production of graphene electrodes for supercapacitor applications. We, EMSOL, have developed a novel spray deposition process uh, that is upscalable and we're currently designing a roll-to-roll -roll system for production of graphene electrodes uh, for up to 30,000 devices per year. These are graphite stones, Talga owns mines in north of Sweden. We use our rock to produce talfin powder and talfin dispersion. Talfin powder is used in composites to improve electrical and mechanical properties, while talfin dispersion is used for coatings. And a lot of interested people on asking really, when can we buy these products? When can I integrate this in my my uh, systems. So we are really talking now industrialization and commercialization step in the graphene flagship. It's very interesting to see that we uh, have come a long way when it comes to graphene production. Here we have graphite from a mine in Europe. We have producers that produce graphene flakes for many kinds of nanocomposite battery applications, supercapacity applications. We also have producers that produce high quality uh, graphene for uh, very fast electronics applications and optoelectronics applications. So it's uh, by and large, one can say that the uh, graphene production is a salt issue now.